are accidental changes in the structure of the DNA. Um, they're pretty rare in humans, and usually when they occur, they produce a recessive trait. So it's not super common within the phenotype of the population. Mutations can result in what is known as genetic disorders, and these are inherited conditions that will at some point in that individual's life cause mild to severe medical problems. Um, we're going to talk briefly about two types of mutations. One is changes in chromosome structure. We're going to go through four examples of that. And then we're also going to talk about changes in the number of chromosomes that that individual contains. So the four types of changes in chromosome structure, one thing that can occur is a duplication. And this is when one si simple gene sequence repeats itself multiple times abnormally. So here is our regular chromosome A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, and here, that DE segment has been repeated twice. Here it's been repeated three times. So it can be repeated one or multiple times, and that's called a duplication. You can also have an inversion, where one sequence of the DNA, the order of the gene somehow becomes reversed. So there's no loss or gain of material, it's just in the wrong order. So here in our first chromosome, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and then after the mutation, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, I, H, G. So the G, H, I has completely flipped. A translocation is a switching of pieces between new, two non-homologous chromosomes. Um, most translocations are reciprocal and both chromosomes exchange broken pieces. So here we have two chromosomes that are not identical in size and shape and genetic information. Um, HIJ breaks off from the first chromosome and, is, and attaches to the second one. N breaks off of the second one and attaches to the first one. So our new chromosome reads A, B, C, D, E, F, G, N, and the second one is K, L, M, H, I, J. So again, both of them break off and switch. A deletion is simply what it sounds like. It's a loss of one gene within a chromosome. Here we have a deletion of C, so originally A, B, C, D, E, etc. After the deletion, it's A, B, D, E, and we've lost that C segment. Most deletions are lethal in humans. So those are changes in chromosome structure. Changes in chromosome number, one um, possibility is polyploidy. Polyploid means that instead of an individual having two copies of one chromosome, they have three or they have four. Um, polyploidy is lethal in humans. We do see it in a lot of flowering plants, like um, strawberries, for example, are um, octoploid. They have eight copies of each type of chromosome but polyploidy is not possible in humans. Um, the other option is aneuploidy, and this is when individuals have one extra or one less chromosome. So they are 2n plus 1 or 2n minus 1. Remember that humans typically have 46 chromosomes, so an individual that was aneuploid might be missing one copy of one chromosome, make, making them 45 chromosomes, or they could have one extra copy of one chromosome, meaning that they would have 47 chromosomes. Um, aneuploidy is the result of non-disjunction during meiosis. This can occur during meiosis 1 or meiosis 2, and it's basically that the sister chromatids don't separate correctly. So this picture here is showing non-disjunction at meiosis 1. Here are, here's metaphase 1, all the chromosomes are lined up in the middle of the cell, these two should go to the top, these two should go to the bottom, but for some reason, the sister chromatids pull three chromosomes to the top and one to the bottom. So instead of two cells that each have two chromosomes, we end up with one cell with three and one cell with one. These cells undergo meiosis two, the sister chromatids split, and at the end, we have two gametes that have an extra long chromosome, so they're no longer N, they are now N plus an additional chromosome, because they have three chromosomes each. And then we have two gametes that are N minus one, meaning that they're missing a chromosome. When these gametes join with a regular chromosome that's N, we result in the 2N plus one or the 2N minus one condition. Okay, so if, they're, um, if an individual joint is created from an N minus 1 gamete and an N gamete, they are 2N minus 1, 
and that's called monosomic. Most individuals don't survive if they're missing a copy of a chromosome. I'll show you one example that's an exception. Um, if you have one too many chromosomes, for example, 47 chromosomes, and you have an N plus 1 gamete joining with an N gamete, you're going to be 2N plus 1, and you are trisomic. There are a couple examples of trisomic individuals. Um, usually they are somewhat handicapped, but we'll go through some examples of those as well. Okay, so one example of a trisomic condition is Down syndrome, and this is when an individual has three copies of chromosome 21. So this is um, showing three copies of chromosome 21. Um, individuals with Down syndrome have some sort of mental impairment, usually some sort of physical impairment as well, and Down syndrome can be detected before birth. This is our one example of a monosomic individual. This is called Turner's syndrome. And this is a female that only has one X chromosome. So you can see from the karyotype, instead of being XX, this female has a single X chromosome. Um, she's infertile. Um, those who survive, even though 98% of them are spontaneously aborted, are short and infertile. It can be treated with some hormone replacement therapy, giving them some extra estrogen and stuff like that but um, they cannot reproduce. And another example of a trisomic condition where an individual has an extra chromosome is called Klinefelter syndrome, and this is an XXY condition. So this is a man because he has a Y chromosome, but he also has an additional X chromosome. And you can see that over here, XXY. Um, phenotype, typically these males are tall. They are sterile, however, so they can't reproduce. And again, this can be treated with some testosterone injections. The last example we're going to look at is XYY condition. It doesn't have a fancy name. It's just called XYY. This is, again, a male. It's a male that has two Y chromosomes. Typically, they're taller than average males, but otherwise, they're pretty normal. Scientists used to think that they were predisposed to, be, to criminal behavior due to extra testosterone, but those studies were later disproved. So you're going to have to look at karyotypes similar to these on your um, final exam and be able to tell me if that individual is monosomic or trisomic and maybe which extra chromosome they have or which chromosome they're missing.